Hello. Tonight we are making a uh, Mexican and Southwest themed dinner. We're going to have uh, catfish Veracruz style and to go with that a Mexican quinoa and a Cimarron slaw. For this one I'm going to use the 12 inch one. Catfish got nice crust. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are going to get started here uh, with the uh, Veracruz catfish part first. I've got over here at the Dutch oven, I've got it preheating. I'm using my Camp Chef uh, 12 inch shallow and uh, I've already prepped up uh, some onions and some garlic which is what we're going to start sauteing. Um, got my skillet heating up over here. Turn that up a little bit now. It calls for olive oil and I am going to use some avocado oil just seeing as uh, well I have it. And, uh, seeing as we're talking about Southwest food, so just thought I'd do that. Put a little avocado oil in there and let that heat up. A lot flatter than last year. It's still got a little slight, slight uh, tilt to it, but not not as bad. <laughs> So uh, what we're going to do is uh, um, make our sauce for the catfish and uh, start the quinoa and then assemble the catfish and sauce so we can bake it in the Dutch oven and while the quinoa is cooking and by then everything should come together. Alright, so let's... Uh, get our onion sautéing first. And that's, uh, that's about half of a medium onion. for uh, two cups of cherry tomatoes. And I've got this one package, 10 ounces. I'm just going to use all of that. Oops. And they're going to cook until the tomatoes blister up a little bit. Probably another five minutes or so. And we'll add garlic capers olives, the rest of the stuff. Okay, so they are starting to pepper and blister some. The onions are getting kind of a nice gold in color. So let me add the garlic next. Let that kind of blend in there for a few seconds, not real long. We don't want to burn the garlic. Alright, and 
I know it's supposed to be some olives. And using what last I got, I got um, some sliced manzanillo Nia olives. I'm going to drain the juice off really quick outside here and I'll be right back. Supposed to be, well, I lost it, one quarter cup. So, it's going to be close. I think it was really supposed to be fresh olives, but it'll be, it'll work out just fine. Right. Get that mixed in there really good. The capers, I got a new jar of capers. Spoon of these little guys, and that's not going to come out easy. Let's see here. I'm going to try to do it this way. And eyeball my tablespoon. Looks good enough. I'll put that back in the jar here in a second. It is supposed to have golden raisins, not a lot, but just a little bit, and I, for some reason, kept forgetting to buy the golden raisins when I was at the store. Looked around the house to see what I had that might mimic it a little bit, and I don't have a lot, but I got, my wife has bought these little snack apple, baked apple chips, so it's just a pure apple, and I'm going to put a couple of those in there. Um, I really don't know. It's <laughs> nowhere near a raisin I know, but it is the closest thing I could think of on the fly to uh, give it a little bit of that sweetness. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. And what else do I need? I need something else. I know. Well, looks like uh, oh, pickled jalapenos. I knew I was missing something. Okay. Um, two tablespoons of them little guys plus a tablespoon of juice. I'm just trying to do it. Let me slice these up a little bit first. Teaspoons. Um, what do you think? And salt and pepper to taste. And that'll be it. Smelling really good too. Alright, so I'm just going to let that kind of stew for a minute or two longer and then I pull it and let it rest for a few minutes. And, uh, 
while it's resting, I'll get some new coal started for the Dutch oven. And we'll do the uh, quinoa. Okay, so we've got some new coals heating up for the um, fish. We get a quick start on the quinoa. Let that heat up for a very quick second. Meantime, I've got a can of black beans I'm going to use. I'm going to drain the liquid off as best I can. And we'll be right back as the oil's heating. Alright, got them drained off as best I could. It's looking really good. Coals are getting about done, so I need to kind of rush through this one. I'm going to saute. Should be a fresh jalapeno, but uh, along with the raisins, I forgot to buy one of them too. So I've got the jarred one and about two cloves of garlic. It does not take garlic long to saute and fry up, so. We'll get that going there real fast. And after that, got a full can of fire roasted tomatoes. in there. The can of drained black beans. Uh, should be a cup of frozen corn. And I've got probably two right here. Corn is the only vegetable I would eat. Oh, I want to call French fries a vegetable. Corn, French fries, something like that. As far as, <laughs> as, far as things you normally consider a vegetable, corn is it. Alright. We'll mix that in there real good. It is also uh, da -da 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 -da. one cup of quinoa and wash it. Where'd you go? Wow. Fully winging this one. Um, <laughs> okay. Pretty close. I'm gonna use all of it, but pretty close to one cup, and that's where I'm going with it. Um, I am going to have to check my original source somewhere along the way. It is uh, calling for chicken broth in the instructions, but not in the ingredient list. So I do not know how much chicken broth to put in there. So 
we will just kind of wing this one. I'm going to stop there for the time being and we'll see how it absorbs that. We'll keep an eye on it and then add more if necessary. And, uh, and red pepper flakes. And I'm going to get myself in trouble right here. Okay. One and a half teaspoons of one and a half teaspoons of chili powder. And what is it? I lost it. It's half a teaspoon of cumin. Where'd you go, cumin? I seen you earlier when I wasn't looking for you. Cumin, there's cumin. Ugh. Half a teaspoon of that. Cumin goes a long way. I know my coals are ready, so tell you what, I'm gonna let that do its thing and get right back with you with the fish and the coals. All right, and some new coals here. Which are, luckily, this fish does not take terribly long to cook because they are more than ready. Top ones over here, real fast on the uh, lid. Bottom coals. And get the little. That was hot. going to scoop a very little bit of the sauce 
the bottom. And get my fish. I've got two catfish fillets. Leave them in there like that. Right beside each other. A little salt and pepper. The rest of my sauce. for about half an hour. I made that over the winter too, a little extra windscreen. Just a little, little bit more, just to absorb a little bit of that liquid. I did um, add a little bit of chicken broth again in the middle here. It was doing fine, but I was just getting kind of worried about it. So I'll let that cook about another five more minutes. And then uh, I've got a little bit of cilantro to add to it. Uh, juice from a lime and uh, some avocado. from the lemon, maybe, well he's not a very juicy fella, I'm sorry I said a lemon but it's a lie, <laughs> I just thought about that. Oh. 
Auto. That is being stubborn. You know I had a washcloth, I just lost track of where I put it. Alright, give that one more good stir. five more minutes on the fish so I'm just gonna let that sit there like that for a few minutes all right so let's see how we did with the catfish I'm gonna, I'm gonna trip over that I know it's a little warm you know it's a bunch of license plates I've just been collecting a couple more and I'll be able to just box that in all the way around Just yet. Let's see how we. Oh, that looks good. That does. That looks right. All right. Now we can take the coals off. They're pretty much spent anyhow. But Harder part, Get, getting the little dudes out of there. And almost so close. To Cilantro? Yes, I forgot you had a little bit of cilantro garnish. <laughs> yep. Did you get yourself some? Yeah, right here. Okay. Okay. So, ooh, that's the cooler side. Let me show you how everything came out. I'm a. Uh, I think you can. Yeah, good enough. The. Uh, Things nice and done. I wish the catfish would have held together, or I had a better spatula. Better, that'd be a better way of putting it. But otherwise, uh, that's it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's see how we did. We. Oh well. <clears throat> I'm sitting downhill. Should be up here. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is good. The quinoa. Uh huh. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Taste your smell. Oh, I mean, that's a good marriage of flavors here on that quinoa. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I like your slaw. 
That's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good, man. Oh, the fishy's nice. It gives it part of its flavor. Yeah, that's really good. It's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, the olives and the caper good. give it a little salty kind of twang to it. But oh, that's really good. Very good. Yep. I say success all the way around. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us this afternoon, watching our little camp meal, and uh, we'll see you next time.